I grow orchids out the back. I'm not very good at it. I was going to show you all my orchids now. I was going to say, oh, it's going to be wonderful, and they all died. My name is Janet Rossent. I'm Chief of Research at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. I'm also a professor in the Department of Molecular Genetics at the University of Toronto. I'm a biologist. We work on development. Development is a process of, of growth from a small seed, if you like, to a whole organism. And what's interesting is that you can really show as you watch your plant grow or you look at a tree that it is that sort of tree of life you get that continued specialization from the tiny seed to the first leaves to the first branches to the specialized branches to the, the flowers that is development so a walk in the park is a, a walk amongst development well, I think a developmental biologist is different from a cell biologist or a molecular biologist or a biochemist in the sense that they are trying to integrate all of those pieces together to come up with the pattern, with the program, with the plan of how the whole organism is put together. It's driven by scientific methods, a whole load of things that you must do, and you must do in a careful and ordered and rational manner. But you have to have some creativity because that's what sets the questions to start with, and, and that's what allows you to recognize the, the unexpected and, and go off in new directions. So in early days when we were cloning genes that we thought were involved in development and then we were just looking at their expression using a, a method of, of looking at, uh, at the RNA in the whole embryo. So you could look down a microscope and see where the genes expressed. There were a few things that were really, really exciting at the time. One of them was when we were one of the first groups ever to take a, an embryonic stem cell from the mouse and go into it and make a mutation in a gene at will by targeted mutagenesis. You put DNA into the cells, you select, you pick colonies, and then you run a PCR, you know, this, this way of amplifying the DNA. So it wasn't very exciting, but what you have to see is a band on a gel. You know, the band on the gel is the right size, you have knocked out that gene. And I remember seeing the first one where we'd knocked out the gene, it's like, Whoa, we did it, fantastic. The problem is how do you get from a single cell to us, complex organism? One of the fun things is just to use a kind of the early phases of development as a model to understand how cells make decisions. The fundamentals are still the same. It's how do you take uh, the DNA that encodes all of the genes, could make all of the proteins, and how do you switch them on and off in the right way, at the right time, and in the right place? And that's a simple question, and it's kept me busy for the last 30 years. In the garden, you can plant a seed, you can watch it grow. And from that little bud, this amazing complex flower grows. And it's, we now know that's controlled by genes, patterns of genes. It's the same process as we're talking about in the unflowering and the, and the growth and budding of, of an organism. So, but in the, in the human, it takes place in the uterus. With, with ultrasound now, you can practically watch it. If you're going to have kids, there's no point in having kids and not spending time with them. Um, but on the other hand, you have to then put quality time into the lab as well. So it's absolutely necessary to really compartmentalise. When I go out to universities and give seminars, you often get to meet with students. And especially if you're a woman, they all ask those questions. So how do you do it and all the rest of it. And I usually say it's enormously helpful to have a supportive partner. These are the things that, that make it possible. If you're incredibly focused, you can really achieve anything. It is a matter of what drives you and making sure that you work out this balance to the best of your ability. You cannot have it all, but you can have a jolly good try. <laughs>